Use this three play money scheme to go ahead and attack your opponent in the flats, over the middle, and deep. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that actually shows you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Alright, so guys, you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. Alright, so guys, this is a Patreon request. I've got a longtime Patreon member uh, that has uh, been uh, a big supporter of mine, uh, and he actually requested I, I, I look into the skins playbook and, and show him a new passing scheme. And I automatically Automatically, when I when I took a gander at this, the Redskins, and I discovered a few different plays that are really good complements off of each other uh, out of the Redskins playbook. Also, these plays are all in the Rams playbook too. So if you use Redskins or Rams, uh, you can pretty much find these. Now, the base play, the plays we're going to be using in this scheme are going to be uh, the Sluggo Seam. We're going to be using Salem, and then we're going to use uh, Z Under. So these are going to be the three plays that we're going to build out in the scheme. Uh, we're going to come with the stock inside zone, but these are going to be the plays we're going to be using. And what's cool about it is that with those three plays, you attack uh, your, your opponent in the middle. You attack them off the sidelines, the flat, underneath. Uh, it's really got a really good complement. And if you actually uh, throw in like uh, a dig and go, uh, it really can make it hard for your opponent to actually go and stop that. So let's just go ahead and uh, jump into this play right now get things rolling for you. So once again, we're going to be using the Gun Tray Y ISO. Uh, there's also uh, variations of this, which is going to be the Gun Tray. Um, I do not like to have the tight end on the ISO. I want to have a faster receiver, probably my fastest receiver on the, on the left side of the screen. Uh, so that would be our, our number one receiver. What we're going to do is we're going to go in and flip uh, so we can put the tight end in the slot. That's going to make the play a little bit better. So let's go ahead and run this against um, uh, man blitzes and work our way through the, uh, the spectrum of coverages you're going to, you're going to see. If your opponent is using a lot of uh, crazy man blitzes, uh, basically you want to look to the sluggo route. So uh, what you want to do is watch the coverage. And what's going to happen is this route is going to get really crazy separation. You can use it against the blitz, uh, against the blitz. You know, the uh, anybody who uses a lot of crazy man blitzes. Now um, you can also go ahead and pop this route right here. But a lot of buzzes and, and yellow zones are going to be in that area. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this as a is a great play to go and use against your opponent if he does a lot of man blitzes. Uh, and the primary reason is that uh, you're going to get yourself in some trouble. You can leave the play stock, but I do like to go ahead and do a smoke screen instead. So uh, really Really it's only going to be that out and up route that's going to be the best thing. Now the other play is going to be Salem. And what's cool about Salem is this is going to give you a couple different reads against uh, man coverages. You've got the crossing route over the middle. That you get fairly good separation against someone who's using a lot of uh, man blitzes, but you're actually going to be going into that user territory. So uh, not necessarily um, the best route to go and take a look at. Uh, but let's see if we can get the time. What's cool about this particular route uh, right, right, right here is that that will actually get you, uh, give you a nice little completion against man. So let's just go ahead and see if we can get this. Uh, no one's on the tight end, uh, so we're just going to go ahead and take that route right off the middle, uh, going against that uh, random cover uh, zone uh, man coverage is against the computer. So let's just go ahead and do this again. Now, uh, what's going to happen is this route is going to get separation against man's coverage. So the biggest challenge is just having a time to throw the ball. Now, conversely, you've got uh, basically uh, the uh, uh, Z under. This is going to be the other play that we're going to be using against man blitzing. What's cool about it, too, is that you're going to have that blocking running back to go ahead and get you some separation. Um, now you've got a little in route. That's actually going to go ahead and get you some separation. But uh, once again, if you got a guy that's using a lot of man coverage and he is, uh, he is basically using over the middle of the field, you can get yourself in trouble. Deep in route. Uh, is another area of the field that you can hit. So just got rid of that ball a little bit quick because the pressure was coming in. But these are probably one, this is probably one of the better plays to go ahead and use against someone who's using a lot of uh, uh, man blitzes uh, because you've got those in routes uh, and then you also have, obviously have the corner out uh, by the the other wide receiver, uh, which is which is Crowder. So we're gonna see if we can get the separation. We can, and we got a nice little completion sideline uh, out of bounds. Now against cover two, um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to take a, do a dachshund and actually put him uh, on a um, 
a, a little smoke route. And the reason why is that it's going to give you kind of a high-low approach. It's going to allow you to attack your opponent with the flats. Uh, the first read is going to be read uh, over the middle. Uh, and the reason why is that usually against cover two, he's going to be wide open unless the defenders actually play down. So uh, that's what I do like about this gear play. And uh, uh, Richardson's route... Uh, is going to be the next read that we're going to take a look at um, if the, uh, the defenders actually come down and play reads route. So let's just go ahead and leave this as is. We're going to smoke route uh, Doxon, and we're just going to keep popping this middle of the field until our opponent makes a change. And then you've got the running back route that you can check it down to. So, uh, you know, this is actually just, these are little harassment routes. You can definitely, um, you know, you can definitely go ahead and, and beat your opponent. You got this opportunity that you can hit your opponent down for uh, for easy completion. You just pass lead off the left. Uh, he's not holding on to the ball, but you can see uh, where that passing lane is right open for you. And you just, uh, you're just going to go ahead and throw that ball right down there and actually get an easy completion. Now, what about Salem? Um, Salem, once again, against cover two. Uh, we're going to be looking uh, for Reed and Crowder. Reed and Crowder are going to be the area of the field we're going to be looking for. Because uh, what's going to happen is this route should be open. Because uh, that seam has to be defended uh, by uh, by that big uh, that big play opportunity by uh, by the guy underneath. So you can see this is going to be the area of the field that you can attack. He's going to have to use that, that area of the field. So we're going to look to the seam. And as you can see right there, it was actually hard flats. So uh, that was why that play was actually open. So uh, the guys actually come down uh, and actually cover the seam route. So let's just go ahead and see. Now you see look at Reed. There's nobody over him right there. So we're just going to go and pop that ball right away and get a nice little completion, or at least if you can hold on to the ball. So the ball got out late. But uh, once again, uh, you can see right here where he's not covered up. We're just going to go ahead and get rid of the ball, do a little possession catch, and pick it up 16, 17 yards on that. Now, conversely, you're going to go back to the under. Um, quick little adjustment right here. Seam area is going to be the area of the field we're going to take a look at. You've got the, uh, the crosser on the back end side because those guys actually pull out. So we're going to be looking to the seam again. Seam was wide open. And we're just going to look to the crosser on the back end side. So that's that's the area of the field you're going to look to with the under. Now you can see Reed doesn't have anybody over him. So what you're going to do is you're just going to go and pop that, that guy right in the seam and get that easy completion. So this is going to force your opponent to choose his pick as poison. And just in case he locks that stuff up, you've got this crossing route on the back end side if he carries or comes down to the other guy. So that's what's cool about this play. Now against random cover threes, um, once again we're going to go ahead and uh, set our opponent up for the same type of a look. And we're going to look for the crossing route right here. If guy doesn't fall into it, that's going to be something we need to pop right away. If he's a user in the area, probably want to stay away from that. So we got a cover, uh, high, cover three high shell. And right here, uh, nobody takes over the middle of the field. And the defender actually falls up, so I'll show you what I was looking at. So I was looking at cover three, and I'm watching this combination of, of plays right here. So this guy comes down, bites on this route. I'm actually, then I looked at this route, but the defender does not come down and bite on the, on the sluggo. So then I have to go ahead and make my next progression, uh, which essentially is going to be this route right over here because it's just not covered. Now look at this defender. This defender should be playing this route but look what he does he dumbs out and he comes down and plays this running back route that doesn't make any sense to me why he's doing that he should be coming to this route so sometimes these defenders dumb out on this little on this little this uh, this uh, stick route uh, like they, they just dumb out on this particular uh, play again we're gonna smoke up our guy and a lot of times what's gonna happen is that if that defender floats away you're just gonna go and take that little check down so we're going to go ahead and put Dotson and uh, uh, a uh, little stick smoke route. And you can see right here, he is wide open. And you just go ahead and hit that si that sideline and pick up yards. Going to smoke up a wide receiver. And you can see here, you still got that big play opportunity. You can go ahead and hit your opponent over the top. Not as good as some previous coverages, but uh, for the most part, it's it's going to keep your opponent honest. Now, if you're seeing a three-high shell, another thing you could do is just leave that deep comeback route uh, out there. 
Uh, and the reason why is that it gives you an opportunity to go and hit that seam uh, if the defender lets him go by. So it's just that's a tight throw. I don't necessarily recommend that uh, than in, in anything else. Uh, but you just want to go and check down, force your opponent to go ahead and make plays underneath. Now, obviously, Salem, uh, once again, we're going to still do the same type of a look and shell. We're going to take that one, uh, the, the slot receiver crowd, or put him on a slant. We're going to look for the seam. And what's cool about this particular play is the seam route by the tight end will get separation uh, in cover three coverage. So this is another an area of the field that you're going to be able to go ahead and hit your opponent for some pretty big yards if you actually get the throw off correctly. So sometimes if you do a backsided throw um, against cover three, uh, is actually going to give you an opportunity to go ahead and get a big throw. So let's go ahead and see this right now. I'm picking up 25 yards just doing a seam. So you want to have a pretty good athletic, uh, good wide receiver or a tight end uh, to go ahead and catch that. Flat route on the backhand side. You've also got this this uh, little uh, route. So that the correct read and correct throw would have been that flat on that. I just kind of forced it in there to kind of show you how it works. Uh, but really it's going to be that flat route. Now see here. This is where that play gets the play works because the defender was an island. He had to choose which way he wanted to go, uh, but that that uh, is what's cool about this uh, this particular play. So let's just go and see. Got a seam. Just go and check that down. Opportunity to go and catch the ball. Just drop pass right there. So uh, what about the Z under? Once again, the Z under uh, is still going to be high low. We're going to be taking a look at Reed. Seam route is going to be that, that place we're going to keep popping our opponent with. What's cool about the Z under is a quick hike play. You'll look to the seam. You got the crosser. Same area of the field that you're going to be looking at against your opponent. Little in route. This is quick hike play. Just run it stock. Nothing's going to change. And it gives you an opportunity to go ahead and just keep checking him down uh, with that little crosser right there. This is a really good play to go and jump into. Uh, if you want to get that guy across the middle of the field a little bit faster, you can definitely do that. That should open things up for you over the top uh, and give you better, uh, a better opportunity to go ahead and hit him uh, for some, some deeper yards. So what about against cover four? Well, with cover four, still pretty much the same looks. Um, cover four is going to be a little bit different because uh, basically you're going to have a lot of matching principles in cover four than you did before. Uh, so that's where you're going to get an opportunity to hit your opponent once again uh, with that out and up, which is sluggo. Uh, and if you get just the right animation with your route running, uh, that wide receiver is going to get a big play touchdown for you. So we'll see if we can get it. There you go. Come on, catch that ball. Give me a touchdown. Thank you. That's what I wanted. So if you do the smoke route, defender's actually to come down. And really this is going to be the area of the field that you want to go to with cover four with this play. What about Salem? All right, so Salem's still pretty much the same thing. A bunch of crossing routes. Look to the flat. Go ahead and check that down and pick up some pretty easy yards with Adrian Peterson. Got the crossing route right there. You got this crossing route on the back end side. I draw a pass right there, but you can see that he got separation. You want to drag up this wide receiver to get him across the field better. Uh, and you can see the zones get cleared out. So that's an easy way to get an easy completion and move for the yards. What about uh, the Z under? Z under is pretty much the same type of scenario here. And we're just going to be looking for the crossers on the inside. And if you want to open up that backside wide receiver, uh, which is Richardson, you can go ahead and drag up Dotson. And that's actually going to get a defender over the middle and give you an opportunity to go in and, and check uh, hit it for, for uh, a play over the middle. So that's what I do like about these, this particular this concept. You can use all these different plays in this scheme to go ahead and attack it. So once again, my subscribers, thanks for your support, guys. I really appreciate it. Make sure you go ahead and smash the like button if you do like these custom breakdowns. Uh, and to my patrons, thank you once again for your support. And until next time.